This tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Hi folks, we're at the beginning of the year 2020, and this is Maya 2020, or 2020, and uh, there are many improvements in Maya, and uh, one thing is lacking, and I'm going to show you that so you don't get frustrated. Okay, I created a simple scene. This is just a polygon plane pr uh, disk, actually, and uh, it is uh, of quite high resolution, and this is just a soccer ball. You see them both in the outliner here and nothing else in the scene. Now I want to turn this into N cloth. I need to go to FX. And then he here I have the N particles, the fluids, and the N cloth. And I just create N cloth. And the N cloth starts this red line process here. The red line moves from the left to the right to the end of our time slider here. When we extend this to 300 it moves on so it calculates the dynamic process here and the amazing thing is that when I go here now to scrub in real time you don't see anything because it's all the way down here it's getting much more interesting when I create a collider here so I pick this object and here maybe in the outline of the cloth object and go to end cloth and create a passive collider. Now this line moves to the right slower because it has to do more calculations but it's already very interesting because now I can scrub here and I get that dynamic simulation I can play back and forth. This is the beauty of this cache here and it is much more interactive than this cache used to be uh, or still is which is called the end cache. Okay, now it's almost done here, and this is really elegant, and we didn't have that before in previous versions of Maya. This works with the N world, so we're currently using N cloth. How about N particles? So I select this object here and N particles, and I create an emitter from that object, and. Be aware of this. These are the legacy particles. If you create an emitter from an object down here, this, what you'll see now, won't work. But when you use the current one, which is the N particle system, this is emit from object here, uh, it will work. Now the line moves much more slowly because the particles which will be emitted from the soccer ball here uh, are interacting with the nucleus, which is here, of the whole scene, so it will respect the dynamics here. And this is quite interesting to see, actually. You see the particles shoot out, and as soon as they reach our disk up here, they make dense and deformations into that disk. So it's not merely falling onto that soccer ball and being deformed there, but it also is deeply affected by the particle system. So this is quite an amazing thing here, and you can appreciate this red line here moving forward if you give Maya enough time for it. And don't play around too much with it, because as soon as you start playing with this and scrubbing back and forth, this line will stop working, but uh, it continues. And now the question is, how does it work with N hair? And the answer is, it won't. Let's create a new scene, and here is the soccer ball again. Is it the soccer ball? It's a platonic surface, whatever. Let us give it a little bit more subdivisions okay and now I want to paint hair on this object and uh, just keep an eye here this is our focus here this is the interactive playback here and uh, when you right mouse click here cache playback preferences you see that the cache dynamics needs to be active okay so um, we'll paint hair now well, paint hair follicles, 
and uh, here are the settings which is to ignore them this is the size of our brush when you press and hold the key B which is stands for brush and move the left mouse button to the left or right you can scale that radius here and uh, I just paint follicles right here that's I think that's quite enough close this window and now I get an error message uh, uh, an exclamation mark here and uh, it tells me cache playback save mode caching disabled C script editor for more details you can't see this because it's out of the, the recording range but uh, this is the error we get well the script is right here and when you read this you see what the error is about it's right here cache playback the unsupported simulation method attribute value of all follicles that's the follicles here on hair system node hair system shape one has triggered safe mode that means it disabled the caching you can continue work but caching has stopped yes it has set the hair system shape the simulation attribute to off so I don't simulate it again or static that means I don't simulate it delete its animation it doesn't have an animation anyway or delete the node entirely to resume caching with for example n cloth or n particles well it's all all it tells us is that the red line here the caching new in my 2020 does not work with hair the system here is so simple that it performs in real time but you don't see a red line so you ca cannot scrub back for example and um, when the scene gets more complex of course you need a way to cache the whole thing and I did a tutorial about it, it, uh, it you use the n cache for this create a new n cache and uh, for an n object here in this case and um, that's basically all you do and then you have to wait and then you can scrub back and forth again well just to wrap it up the new interactive playback here works with dynamic systems of n particles n cloth but not with n hair maybe pretty soon it will but now it does not and we're at the beginning of the year 2020 bye bye